Hey, what's up? This is Chris on the longest way. Trying as always to walk back from China to my home in Germany. Today is July the 14th, 2022. It's a Thursday, I think. We're still in Romania and weirdly, we're walking in the direction of the Carpathian Mountains again, which uh, we just crossed like a month ago. They're over there. And the reason for that is because I was gonna take a road north through some hills back there. But then yesterday at the campground where I stayed, which was really nice by the way, they told me that road was bad. It was a bad road. Um, like just not walkable. They told me if you have a tractor, maybe. So, yeah going uh, around now it's a it's a detour but what you're gonna do you can't be too stubborn all the time or well you can be but then you gotta pay the price huh. that's a hard-working horse salute I feel good about listening to them when they told me the road was bad. I'm usually very stubborn and then I think like, oh, I've already come this far. Let's just keep going. It'll be okay. But uh, more often than not, it turns out bad. And so today, I'm gonna just try to take it easy, walk a little bit more without getting yourself in some shit up there. And also there's bears. One lady told me she saw two bears, like not far from the campground. And so, yeah, I don't want to be on a bad road where I can hardly move with no cell phone signal, but with bears. I'd much rather be here. Walking into this uh, village here. I forgot the name. Something with Dumb. Dumbravin or something. Salud. Some of the houses look nice and renovated, others are kind of falling apart. Ooh. Keep this. Huh. Nice. Yeah, go faster. It's only a village. God damn it. That was a nice driver. Gave me some room there. Awesome. Okay, I got no phone reception here, no signal, but I looked at the map 
and it kind of looks like we gotta go this way. So quiet out here. Oh, I hope it's not the one to the left. That looks like a bad road. Of course it was a shitty road, of course. And I don't know what this means, but god damn it. Okay. Oh. Well, on the upside, that means if he can go there, I can go there too, right? I guess <laughs> that's the upside. And something is biting me. I don't know what, I'm gonna talk to you later. It's a very beautiful forest. Reminds me of my home actually. But I'm a little bit worried. It's not like I have a specific reason. But there was a guy that spoke German down the road. And I asked him about bears and he said, bears are no problem. I have many dogs. Okay, <laughs> so I guess it's fine for you and your dogs. I've been making a lot of noise while I'm walking. I got my little bell. My grandma gave me this bell. She wanted me to be safe from bears. And also I'm, I'm singing songs. I make up shit and then I sing. And I still don't know where to sleep. Not here, that's for sure. Ah, that's more like it. Took a long time to get here. Just gravel upon gravel. But now we're on the smooth road here. And it feels a little bit, I don't know, less threatening. This would be a nice place to camp if I wasn't so scared of the bears. So I'm going to try to get to some village and then stay close to that village. Maybe even in the village, I don't know. Ask somebody, find a church, something like that. <laughs> 